Welcome to Will It Work? I'm Kevin. Today we are looking at the Space Invaders Tiny Arcade. Welcome to Will It Work? I'm Kevin. Today we're looking at Space Invaders Tiny Arcade. Original gameplay. <clears throat> this is a uh, Japanese unit, I believe, and uh, it's just a small, almost a throwaway type of system, as I like to call them. You know, it's very small. It has its own screen, a couple of buttons, and a rubbish joystick, and it's put inside a, an original-looking Space Invaders cabinet. Honestly, I don't think Space Invaders, when it first came out, actually used the joystick. I think it was a track... Well, it's not a ball. It's like a... It was almost like a paddle control. Left and right. I'm not sure if that's the original or not. But that's the one I played on before that had that. Uh, which it gives it a different experience, too. If you've ever played Space Invaders, when you're kind of... Most of the time you've... In life, if you've ever played it, you probably played it with a joystick. So you were probably... Um, moving slowly left or right, but if you play it with an actual analog control, you can move a lot quicker left and right. Uh, it may have also been played just with buttons at 1.2, if I recall. Uh, but, anyway, uh, I'm not sure who made this. The sticker's kind of covering it up. The smallest fully functional arcade game. Made in China. Uh, Super Impulse Limited, and then the game is, of course, Tato Corporation, 1978, and this little guy was made in 2019. So, you know, pretty limited on this one. What I tend to do is, I, you know, with, the, with things like this, there's many types, right? But there, there can be ones in, like, a collection... Um, I got a feeling that this number 8 that's down here probably means this is the 8th one in a series. I do have some other ones. Uh, but what I try to do is look for ones that are, you know, well-known and, and that kind of thing. I, if there was one that was just generic, that just contained, like, say, ROMs or something, uh, or it was just called Arcade Machine and that kind of thing, I don't generally buy those kinds of things because I, I just feel like that that's... Um, it didn't bother to get the licenses or anything, so it's even less of a, uh, you know, like it's just, it's probably junk. It's probably totally junk. Yeah, where this at least has the, the licensing from Tato, uh, you know, and, and it supposedly has the original gameplay. It's not open, so we won't open it and play it. It's too small anyway, and everybody's seen Space Invaders. It does have a keychain thing on the back, though, in case you wanted to uh, carry this giant thing on your keychain. It's a little bit too big for a keychain, but... Uh, okay, that, that's it. We'll uh, see what we got for tomorrow. Thanks for watching.